Today's video is sponsored by Endel, the app that improves how you feel night and day. Wow, summer really flew by this year. I had quite a busy time selling my mom's house, helping my best friend move, and summer house hunting. But because the weather wasn't that great, summer felt short somehow. And now we're in September already, and it's back to work. So I thought I'd show you where I work, and how I've organized the home office storage closet that also does double duty as my voiceover studio. I hope that you'll find some good ideas if you need to reset your back to work game, back to school game, or just do a regular little reset in your home this season. When I first moved here in November, I was a bit intimidated by the large room that houses the kitchen. I was a bit worried that it would feel very leggy in here, since I have a dining table as well as a desk in the same room. 10 months in and I love this space. It's so great to work in and I feel that my apartment has a more private cozy side and a more productive side. My bedroom is for sleeping. My living room is for relaxing. And this room is for getting things done. I work out in here and I work here at my desk. And that brings me to the sponsor of this video, Endel, the app with personalized soundscapes that are designed to help you focus, relax and sleep. Now that fall is approaching and I need to step up my work game a notch after a slower work pace over summer, I can use Endel to boost my productivity by helping me concentrate for longer periods of time. But also if you have a hard time relaxing, Endel calms your mind to create feelings of comfort and safety. And for sleep, Endel soothes you into deep sleep with soft gentle sounds. Try it if you have ADHD, suffer from tinnitus or have a sleep disorder, since Endel is informed by science, created with science and backed by science. The Endel app adapts in real time to personal inputs like location, weather and heart rate when you use it. It basically complements your biological clock to improve how you feel night and day. If you're interested in trying Endel to help boost your productivity this new season, help you sleep better or for the other amazing features, download the Endel app. The first 100 people to download Endel by clicking the link in the description box or scanning the QR code will get a free week of audio experiences. So, I feel they really planned this apartment in a smart way back in 1909 when the building went up. They placed two closets opposite of each other between two rooms. That created a little lower walkway from one room to the next clad with beadboard. Above the storage extends over the beadboard ceiling and it's where I keep the bigger pieces of filming equipment that I don't use that often. Bonus's carrier is also up there and easy to reach. These shelves were already here. When I moved in I just shoved things in there to get them out of the way.
I soon realized that I needed better access to things, so I took everything out, sorted and organized them. Sorting and organizing can feel overwhelming, but if you put like with like, throw out trash, recycle unneeded paperwork, declutter duplicates and things you just don't use or need, you're well underway to a more organized space. Stone. 
I now store home office supplies in here as well as my most often used tools and DIY materials. At the very top I store some art supplies, my paint kit and that kind of thing in the same type of bins that I have in my basement storage space, but in smaller sizes. I also have a stack of organizers with screws, nuts and bolts and that kind of stuff. The next shelf houses a few books and some binders. This basket holds odds and ends that I don't have time to sort into place immediately. It currently houses some buttons that came with some clothes, as well as an extension cord holder that I want to attach in the bedroom at some point this fall. And here's the part that's my voiceover studio. I still use the same simple little microphone, but if you're subscribed to my videos and have watched them for a while, you saw my old voiceover studio. It was pretty much a pillow fort on a cabinet with a woolly blanket over my head. It worked, but it was awkward to set up and I got really sweaty once inside. So, when I viewed this apartment and noticed the storage closet opposite to where I keep my clothes, I knew I wanted to transform at least a small part of it into a more practical setup for recording my voiceovers. I pretty much just padded the space between two shelves with a felt screen that I cut to size and some felt that came on a roll for the bottom. It's by no means professional, but I can now just step inside and record without that much prep, which is so nice. Under the voiceover booth, I reused the old storage drawers from Muji that I've had for many years. In them are office supplies and that kind of thing. A great thing about this closet is that there's actually an outlet in here so I can charge things like my gimbal inside. On the floor is a stack of more bins with tools and supplies. Tools that I use less often, like the jigsaw, heat gun and clamps, are currently in my basement storage. On this side of the wall I mounted one of these tall bins. It's great for rolls of gift wrap and that type of thing. So, back to my desk situation for a bit. When I worked at my corporate jobs I had a standing desk for over 10 years. I didn't even have a chair at all for probably 8 of those because I never lowered the desk. When I left my corporate job 2 years ago and set up my home office, I ended up with a sitting desk for mainly aesthetic reasons. Because my desk is in my living space and not in a separate room, I really wanted it to fit in and not feel too office-y. I looked but couldn't find a nice looking standing desk. I looked at contraptions that could be added on top of my existing desk to raise it. I also looked for solutions for raising the desk like with a plinth or mounting the desktop to the wall. I even ordered leg extenders that didn't end up working out.
My solution became to keep the sitting desk but add movement to my days by using a rocking desk chair. I do really love this chair, but I do have to say I miss having a standing desk. So if you have any recommendations for a nice one that wouldn't make this room look like a corporate office, I'm all ears. As for the rest of this work area, the open space with the rug in front of the desk is so great for working out on, but is also so great for filming on. I always have free floor space and the only thing I might have to do is roll up the end of the rug if the situation calls for bare floors. Also the rug anchors the dining table and stools and averts that fear I had of too many legs in the same room. And of course having a rug is cozy and soft underfoot as well as removing some echo in this big space. And that's how I've set up and organized my work from home space. Don't forget to download the Andal app, you'll find the link in the description box. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Hey då!